Hey guys, Jerry here, and uh, as promised, I was going to show you some things that I have been going over. Some of the things that are RFID chipped, it's uh, outdoor stuff, and some of the things that are not. And they are indeed things that are and things that aren't, folks. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, I went on ahead and I went over this uh, Coleman sleeping bag. And these Coleman sleeping bags are not chipped to my knowledge anywhere. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, if you buy any of the Ozark Trail, uh, this spring metal mechanism system lock that's in here, this is the one that gives off electromagnetic energy on the uh, Ozark or Ark of the Oz uh, stuff that's in, in your camping section. It does not with Coleman, though. It doesn't, but the little spring and metal lock mechanism with the Ozark Trail does. And so, as far as I can see, guys, this Coleman stuff is okay. Uh, I don't know why that this is, or yeah, I guess I do. The cheaper stuff, guys, is the, the stuff that uh, that is RFID chipped. Now, let's look at some other things here. On this outdoor trail backpack, which is what I've got myself, the outdoor trail, I found nothing RFID anywhere in it. But once again, some of the buttons and some of the zippers on some of the Ozark Trail pack stuff, I did find it. It's not all just Ozark Trails, guys. Some of the other stuff, the cheap stuff is too. Now, when it comes down to a mess kit, the mess kit is $5.97 Ozark Trail, and it is RFID chipped. It puts off electromagnetic pulses of 80 to 100. This two bowl cook set for Stanley is not, but this is a $26.97 cook set. You might say, it almost seems like that they got class warfare going on, guys. Like, common people that buy this stuff is what they're wanting to eliminate. I, I mean, and again, it, I'm just telling you what works and what don't. This outdoor bladder that you've got that has two liters of water made by outdoor, it's okay. You find anything on it? So the outdoor products, uh, I ain't gonna say all of it's good. I ain't run up on anything yet, but I ain't been through a whole lot of it yet, but the outdoor stuff is okay. Now, let's go on and let's look at the, uh, some of the fishing stuff that I got into here. And I didn't find anything in just this line nothing to but then again there's nothing metal in that too so it shouldn't be that way but even some of this stuff that's Ozark Trail that has just a little bit of metal in it guys what little bit of metal it had it in it was RFID don't be buying any of the uh, rooster tails that's the uh, leaders uh, I can tell you this the MEPS M-E-P-P-S the MEPS was okay Never had nothing in it, RFID. The uh, rooster tails did. The Ozark Trail spinners did. The lead sinkers did not, but they're going to a lot of steel sinkers, and they are. Just being honest with you guys. Okay, so now let's, let's look right here. Um, I don't know what we're going to do over the fish hooks. All the fish hooks test positive. So I don't know yet what, what I'm going to do here. Maybe wrap this up in aluminum foil, because aluminum foil won't allow it to admit RFID, but I don't want anything on me. But all of it, 
every single one of them for some reason all the fish hooks has uh, it's not much it only registers like at 55 or 60 but it still still puts it out guys you know the eagle claw so uh, hang tight right here and I'll show you the fishing pole that I got here is you a real inexpensive fishing setup guys it's got the tubular rod to it made by Eagle Claw and it does not omit any electromagnetic stuff coming off of it but I can tell you this The Ozark Trail rental reel and rods that they got does. The Zipco does. So you just quite have to be careful. As far as I can see, I didn't get anything to come off of this. Not the Eagle Claw reel and rod, but I certainly did the Eagle Claw hooks. So I don't know, guys. Uh, but I told you all I would start making videos on the stuff that don't have RFID in it. And so here we go so far. This was only $9.99, guys. Very good for packs, but I'm going to tell you, too, about this. You can't hardly find this anywhere, either. I looked this up. Uh, I'm going to tell you what you need to do on the app. Go to Electromagnetic Detector and, and download the app called Detectify. D-E-T-E-C-T-I-F-Y, Detectify. And on that one, hit the magnetometer. And that magnetometer with the right phone, if you have an Android, it's going to take an Android to do it. With the right phone, we'll do that, okay? So, uh, no RFID in any of this stuff that I just showed you. And we'll keep going, okay? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about fish hooks here in the looks a little bit, too. Don't have no idea yet what I'm going to do, but we'll do something. What I've showed you so far is okay, okay, except for the fish hooks. And I don't know what I'm going to do about that because all those fish hooks tested positive for it. But this is a $9.99 rod and reel right here, guys. This is really good for a backpack. Really nice. Uh, hang tight here. Here is the rod extended. I'm in my tractor and trailer right here. I keep this little backpack in the backpack here. So there's my rod, extended. And I mean, guys, you think that, that I'm just going on with this stuff. I'm telling you, honestly, I'm not. I think all hell could break loose in this country at any point in time, and this whole thing be started. Uh, matter of fact, let me show you what I've got on the back of my tractor and trailer here, okay? So we'll step fit out here just for a minute, and I'll show you. If I get into a situation where these vehicles quit because they just shut them off, which can be done just by flipping a switch on these towers, even with this tractor and trailer, it can be done, especially this tractor and trailer. This is a 2021 tractor and trailer. And anyway, you see what I got back here, don't you guys? Yeah. So you see, I'm, I'm, I'm setting myself up, guys. With the right pack in my in the back of my truck, uh, I'm setting myself up with everything just right. So if one day all hell breaks loose and a bunch of people fall over and these vehicles quit, I've got a bicycle and I've got a backpack I've already put together that I can abandon this sucker and make a run for it. And you need to do the same thing, guys. Do the same thing. Uh, I'll keep you updated as I go along and by the time this is all said and done I will have the perfect pack put together and I'm going to show you the uh, the weapons that I'll have in it as well which I don't have yet in there okay but just stay tuned and I'll I'll show you what has the RFID and what does not 